Hey gang, The Orville Season 4. You want more information about The Orville Season 4, don't we all? Well, there is more information coming out. We're still waiting for an official announcement. Uh, that will be done later on, and I have a, um, a, a video to lead you guys to that will ex hopefully explain maybe why there's a bit of a wait for the official announcement. We've already learned that Seth MacFarlane has said that when it comes to the Orville, there will be more. We learned that Scott Grimes said uh, at uh, Star Trek Las Vegas that pre-production is supposed to start uh, around January of 2025, which is coming up. Um, uh, but now that I think about it with Ted 2, uh, filming right now in production right now, getting close to being done, but still in production right now. Uh, it seems that the plan is for Ted 2 to finish production and then everybody, uh, well, some people move over to the Orville production. Uh, January would be a little bit tight. A little bit tight. They probably want to have a little bit of a break before they start pre-production, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, it is assumed um, that Hulu has picked up the Orville for its fourth season, um, which makes total sense to me because I know for a fact this is JP's truth. I know for a fact with uh, uh, people very high in the Orville production that the Orville has actually in fact this is not a theory it has been picked up for a fourth season um, um i wasn't told that it was picked up by hulu but it's safe to say that hulu did pick it up because hulu currently owns the orville and it was picked up months ago and they still own the orville so they must be the ones that renewed the orville so if someone says to you that the orville has been picked up by hulu it's probably true if someone says the Orville has been renewed, that's absolutely true. That one I can vouch for uh, as being completely correct. Uh, will it film in Los Angeles as the Cinemaholic said? Probably. This is a Seth MacFarlane project. Uh, Seth has a lot going on, a lot of business going on in Los Angeles. Uh, it wouldn't make sense for him to leave Los Angeles for the length of time it would take to film another season of the Hulu and not be there to get all the other things done that he has to get done. So probably 99% true that it will film in Los Angeles. Whether or not it's going back and gonna rent some studios from Fox Studio, uh, as opposed to going to a new studio, a Hulu studio, a Disney studio, um, that I don't know. Um, I assume it will be at a Disney or a Hulu studio and not going back to Fox, but you never know. They still have a great relationship with Fox. Maybe Fox will say, hey, we got these studios free. Uh, rent them from us. But don't count on that one. Uh, uh, the I can't remember the name of the, the organization, but it's projectlist.com says that the Orville is supposed to start production on January 6th. And like I said, that seems a little bit tight. Of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of a transition from one project to another, uh, being that there's still filming being done for Ted season two uh, for Peacock. Uh, so January 6th being the start date, I would give that one a 50-50 chance. It makes sense that it would actually be a little bit later than that. And then now I'm seeing that there's a, a new video from the Sci-Fi channel on YouTube, Sidetrack, link in the description of this video uh giving some great level-headed uh information about season four of the orville from their contacts uh sidetrack also has some contacts uh in in productions and studios and it's giving a lot of great information that could possibly be true uh you know not everybody's always correct about everything that they say on on, the, uh, on these channels uh, that we watch and are a part of, but he tries to to have the best information and, and go from there. So it's a pretty good chance some of the stuff he says will end up becoming true. I believe he says um, that from what he hears from his sources, and he has sources in Hulu and NBC, things like that, that uh, uh, the Orville is supposed to start pre-production closer to spring, so like April, May and then should be full on shooting episodes 
uh, this summer, and then hopefully we'll have a new season of the Orville uh, in uh, in 2026. Also, he states that uh, his sources tell him that the plan going forward with other seasons of the Orville, not just season four, but season five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, I'm hoping for 12. That seems like that seems like a pretty good amount of Orville's 12 seasons. Uh, I'd be satisfied with, with 12. He says that the plan going forward of the seasons is to have a new season about every 18 months. So a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. I did the math in my head real quick because, you know, genius. Uh, yeah, that's a year and a half. And because uh, that's the soonest that you can get a season done of the Orville. I mean, it's a really... Uh, high grade science fiction show uh, <laughs> with a lot of pew pews, a lot of explosions, a lot of awesome cool sets, uh, a lot of awesome guest stars, a lot of awesome stories. You know, you've seen the show. Uh, so 18 months seems to be about the limit of how uh, of how quickly they can uh, keep these seasons going. And they want to have seasons come out much more quickly than they have uh, these last two seasons. I mean, of course, Season three gets a pass because there was a worldwide pandemic and they had to deal with that. So it took them three years to get the third season done. Uh, and then with season four, it's been all about getting other projects done as well as getting the funding uh, for this fourth season and the renewal uh, uh, during a very uh, chaotic time uh, with television. People not knowing where television is gonna come from. The whole streaming services, uh, there's a million streaming services and they all got at least one show that you want to watch and uh, <laughs> and uh, and a bunch of other drama with, with the streaming services and Hollywood strikes saying hey you're not paying us enough we're stopping everything so the Orville's had to deal with that for its fourth season but hopefully once we get season four all of the the uh, the climate and the atmosphere uh, surrounding television and streaming services is cleared and they're able to just keep going and keep producing more seasons of the show. You can check out the sidetrack uh, video. I have the link in the description of this video. We're all about just talking the Orville here. Whatever information comes up, we're going to talk about it. Uh, that's what we do here. But when I know something is officially true, I'm definitely going to tell you the Orville has absolutely 100%, 110% been picked up for a fourth season that one i know i've been assured of and i completely completely believe it um hopefully nothing gets in the way of of that truth staying true you know how the world is something could be true and then all of a sudden something else happens and and you gotta have a rainy day i have a rainy day right now outside it's uh, dripping water from the sky and I still got to go to work in a little bit. Oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> you guys. But I want you to uh, be confident right now that the Orville is coming. Uh, check out the sidetrack video for some great level-headed information um, for, for you to ponder upon and consider uh, as, uh, as you figure out what it is, how do you feel about the Orville and the fourth season. I'm absolutely looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what Seth MacFarlane has in store with his wonderful sci-fi utopian world of the Orville. I want to thank you very much for sticking here with talking the Orville. Go check out Sidetrack. Uh, they talk about the Orville sometimes as well. I'll see you very soon. And remember, we all do better when we all do better together. Love you. Bye-bye.